get into our Guilds of Ravnica box two. We're opening a case of Guilds of Ravnica today. So this is box number two. Box number one, as, as foretold, we opened four shocks, and that's kind of what we were shooting for. Um, I've got to clean up a few of the uh, commons and uncommons and things like that that uh, I've got sorted here. So give me just a second to clear the queue. And uh, and yeah, we'll we'll dive right in because there's not much time. Oh man, if they would stop putting child locks on these boxes, I could open them more easily. The joke there is that I'm a child. But that's not a very good joke. Let's be honest. All right, so let's get started. And I got to move these things out of the way because they're in my way. So again, we're looking for four shocks here, maybe some good mythics. Uh, I'd, I'd like a Planeswalker. We didn't get any Planeswalkers out of the last box. Uh, Vraska is the better one. I've actually played against Vraska. I didn't like Vraska. Turns out she's actually pretty good. So we'll see how she does. Um, disinformation campaign, Inescapable Blaze, Omni Spell Adept, and a Foil Dimir Spybug. All right, cool. Uh. Alrighty. Fearless Halberdier. Be a good be a good name for a sports team, right? We're the Fearless Halberdiers. Beam Splitter Mage. Tha Thought Erasure. Still think that card's very good. Ooh, finally. Nullhide Ferox. Ferox? Ferox? Ferox. Can't be countered, right? No, you just can't cast on creature spells and the 6-6 six, six for 4 with Trample. Yeah, just that. Just that. Alrighty. Healer's Hawk, Sure Strike, Collar the Culprit. Some good. I think Deadweight is going to see some like constructed play, but it's also very good and limited. Carl Harpooner, Sure Stri Justice Strike is going to be really great. So we watch Sphinx, and then Dawn of Hope. I actually played with this in limited. It's very good and limited. Don't know how good it's going to be in constructed, but it only costs two, so that's pretty good. All right. Get this going here. Goblin Locksmith. Probably not the locksmith you want to call if you are uh, uh, locked out of your home or car. On the subject of, uh, bleh, experimental frenzy. On the subject of locksmiths, I will say it's quite expensive to get the locks changed at a store. They use different locks. And, um, and it's not cheap. But we, got, we call this guy, I'm going to give free advertising to a local locksmith. His name is Larry. And he runs a business named Larry's Locks. And if you call him, he just says Larry's Larry. He goes Larry's Locks, and then you have to talk and tell him what you need. There's number one shock number one, Sacred Foundry. So if you ever need your locks changed and you're in Knoxville, give Larry's Locks a call. He did not pay me for this free advertising. He's just an honest locksmith, and uh, I I think uh, he's an all-around good guy, and he'll get the job done. So there you go. Uh, security threat is like worthless information to most of you. There you go. Unmoored Ego is our rare there. And uh, I think I can confirm here that there's no just rules cards in these packs. These, these packs all have tokens, which is fantastic. I'm a huge fan. I'm not, not like a physical fan, but you know what I mean. Okay, well, oh, there's another Aurelia. Heck yeah. Do like Aurelia. I will take it. And I think the thing that's going to hold the most stable value in all of this is probably going to be the shocks, but uh, we were talking about Planeswalkers earlier. I think Vraska is way better than uh, Ralzeric. Ralzeric is meh. Although if you get his emblem off, it's pretty good. But I think that's true of almost any Planeswalker. Hey, shock number two, Temple Garden. Let's get him. And guys, we are trying to like um, work on camera angle and kind of like what you see in, as far as when we're opening product and stuff. So if this is too close, if this is too close to your face, let me know. I can dial it back a little bit. Kind of try to fix all that. So your feedback is appreciated. Mission briefing. New Snapcaster Mage. And you get to surveil too. There's too much text on this card for it to not be good, right? This card's going to be amazing. It's got to be great. 
Uh, the best use of it, as I was talking to a customer the other day, um, who's who's a very good modern player, and he was saying that uh, the control decks go Snapcaster Mage, um, Board Wipe, like uh, uh, Supreme Verdict, all the time. So it's like, why not Surveil 2 and, and manipulate the top of your deck? Citywide Bust, I don't know how to feel about this card. I think we've already talked about it. Um, so, so there's that. Yeah. Torch Courier, thing, thing, thing. Chemistry's Insight and a Deafening Clarion. This card's really good. Oh, and a foil uh, Vivid Revival. Hey, that's kind of cool. That's not the best foil, but it's pretty. Draw three cards for five mana, maybe. Maybe draw three cards. It's not that great. Um, if it was just return three target cards from your graveyard to your hand and then exile Vivid Revival, I think that'd be okay. But, I don't know. Paying five to draw three cards is okay. Especially when it's off color, when it's in green and not blue. Price of Fame, True Fire Captain Creeping Chill, Thief of Sanity, and a Foil Thought Sizzle. Or no, wait, wait, Hypothesis. Sorry. Hypothesis. For Shizzle. I just think they wanted an excuse to say Hypothesis. That's what I think. Artful Takedown, Devious Cover Up, Molder Hole. Book Devour, Discovery Dispersal. Ooh, and there's our first Watery Grave. I will take it. Sign me up. One of these days we should actually do kind of like a, a how to how to how to game store. And because I keep on saying sign me up, but like you know when you go to play organized play in a game store, that's what you do. You go in and you put down your own name. You don't make somebody else do it. We don't like to do that. House Guild Mage, Goblin Banner App, very good. Hey, Steam Vents. Ah, this box is good. I like this box. How many shocks have we got so far? Sacred Foundry, Water Grave, and Steam Vents? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, sign me up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop saying that. Or I'll try to stop saying that. All right. Passwall, Adept, Healer's Hawk, Hitchclaw Recruits. Got some magic cards here. I'm going to try to make sure that this is in the shot. I know probably most of you don't care about the, the uh, uncommons. Necrotic Moon is good. Night Autumn. Autumn. This card has got what three modes on it you can either make it a beater you can kill something or you can gain life it's great very versatile card uh i keep on talking about reanimator i think that if um the reanimator colors if it ends up being a four color deck it's gonna play like night of autumn in it but i don't know if it's gonna be a four color deck it might just be a three color deck uh guild mages for him not excited about this card. I don't think it's good. If you think it's good, tell me why in the comments. Give me your prediction. Tell me why you think Guild Mage's form is good, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. You're wrong because you see that little clause there? You see that? Pay one and then tap it to add one mana to any color? Your turn economy goes into the garbage can. Get dumped. All right. <laughs> What does turn economy even mean? I'm just making up words. Enhanced surveillance and nib mizzet pay room. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh yeah, and then uh, be sure to uh, stay tuned guys. We're gonna open a lot more product just kind of like in the next few weeks here as we prepare to sell this stuff on Friday. And uh, we're going to upload it to our YouTube channel, too. So if you miss it, be sure to follow us on YouTube. Foil uh, Sworn Companions there. Light of the Legion is a draft mod. But, um, yeah, if, so if you if you missed a box opening or something like that, you can follow us on YouTube. We're posting them all there. Uh, and then, of course, all six of the, uh, the boxes that we're opening today are going to be there. Uh, hopefully in order. We'll see. We'll see. Goblin Crater Maker, Status, Stasis, Silent Dart, and Drown Tickets. This card is actually really good and limited. <laughs> I played this and milled a guy out. Because if you're playing Dimir, you're playing a slow game. So, slow game anyway. I should talk a little bit slower. That would probably help me. So, Drown Secrets. Good card. Um, I think they want mill to be a semi-viable strategy in, uh, in Standard. But we'll see how close they get to that. You've got Patient Rebuilding as well. 
So there's a good chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Um, again, Beast Whisper. Do like this card. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you draw a card. Um, he costs four mana. He's not as good as uh, that modern card that lets you do it. One with nature or whatever. I can't remember the name of the card. But, um, but yeah. Still, Beast Whisper, fun card, very good limited. Usually win if you can if you can untap with a Beast Whisper and limited, you're probably gonna win. Hey, that's our first Amara Soul of the Accord. I think she's very playable as well, and she um, synergizes with all the Convoke stuff. I hope we get in the third set because I know um, the second set's gonna be the other five guilds. I hope in the third set we get more creatures that synergize with Convoke. Although um, they did put like Vigilance creatures and stuff like that into into this set to kind of help with that. So, Beacon Bolt, Skillton, Playcrafter. This is one of my favorite cards. Mononic Betrayal. I think it's a pretty penny, too. I think that's going to be a good card. Exile all cards from opponent's graveyard. You may cast those cards this turn, as and you spend mana as though or mana of any type to cast those spells. Very good. They get the cards back at the end and to the graveyard, but before then, who, buddy? You are in the driver's seat. Tajik! I think this is Legion's Edge. This guy's going to get played in Boros Tokens. As maybe like a two of or something. Because it prevents um, all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. So if you're trying to play like uh, a board wipe, like deal three damage to all creatures or something, it's just not going to work. Tajik prevents it. He protects his boys. He's a boy protector. And girl protector. There's girl Boros people too, like Aurelian. Dream Eater! I like this card too. He's got flash. I wish he wasn't a 4 3 though. Dies to lightning strike? Yuck. Not as good. Not as good. But if you're good, don't forget to hit that follow button. Alright. I do like the uncommons in the set. Like this guy, Murmuring Mystic, build around this card. This card's great. You make flying bird tokens? Yeah. Storm out. Standard storm. Let's do it. Bounty agent. Oh, wait, wait. Is this bounty agent? Yeah. Bounty agent's good. Because think about all the legendary creatures in Dominaria. It's going to be really good. Uh, foil Hitchclaw Reclu Recluse, which I believe is a reprint. It was originally printed in um, the Innistrad block. So, it's cool to see that guy come back. Deadly Visit. Direct Current, I think, is very good. Cackling Drake. Oh, wait. Cackling Drake. That's an uncommon. Mind of the Masses, Wanda Vertebrae, and we talked about Legion War Boss. I think he's going to get played in Boros. I think he's very good. I have like a gigantic pile of these over to the left. You want to see? Oh! <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, commons. They're good. I wonder how many of these commons will actually see play, though. I like this guy a lot. Pop down Phantasm. He's good. Chamber Sentry. Ugh. 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 Five color players rejoice. There's a card. There's that's this is our replacement for Walking Ballista. This. It's garbage. But it comes back from the graveyard, so that's cool. It's just bad. <laughs> uh, Lava Coil, Plague Crafter. Great card. Plague Crafter is very good. Goblin Banneret. And Find Finality. Do you like Find Finality? It's a very good card. Alrighty. Getting to the end of box number two here. See if we get anything good. Give me something good. Who was singing that over the weekend? We were playing uh, we were playing two at a giant over the weekend. Somebody kept on singing that when they draw when they drew. I think it's some of our favorite two at a giant players. So here's another, that's the Vigilance guy, right? He's good. Whispering Snitch, Pilfering, and, and Blood Opera. Have we talked about Blood Opera? I think it's a good card. I think it'll see play. Happy to see another one. Don't think it's going to be an expensive card. It is a 3 1. Uh, dies to Necrotic Wound or Necrotic whatever. That card. But yeah. Zada, Smut Warder, We Dragonites, and Quasi Duplicate. Say, say that ten times fast. Quasi Duplicate. Cool cards. 
Arboretum Elemental. Let up, champion. This card's good. Sinister Sabotage is very good. And Response Resurgence. Pretty awesome. Yoink. Ooh, Foil Guild Mages Forum. I'm so glad that I got one of these. Uh, <laughs> not. Not glad. I mean, the card's not terrible, but nobody wants to pay one mana to get one mana. Nobody wants to make that trade. Do you want to make that trade? I certainly don't. If you want to make that trade, though, let me know in the comments. <laughs> you, make, you can make an argument for it. I'll hear you out. Here's a foil vicious rumor. And Narcomoeba. What a boy. Tokens. I do, and I'm seriously digging that every single pack has a token in it now. I'm very much digging that. So, I'm super down. Join Shield, Vlatlith. Uh, Grunt, Legion Guild Mage, and Ionize. Uh, I think there's definitely going to be like a counter, a counter burn tempo style deck that runs Ionize. Uh, it might be tier two. It could be tier one. I don't know. Counter spells are really good. So, all right, last two packs here. I think we only got two shocks out of this box, but that's okay. Or three shocks, but that's uh, still okay. And three is better than two, certainly. Bounty of Might. Super don't like this card. I think it's good, though. I just don't think anybody's going to play it. Who wants to pay six mana for uh, that? It doesn't... I don't know. It's a good combat trick. I like green. I love green. Green's what, If you've ever seen me cube, I freaking love green. But that card doesn't go in cube. I don't know where it goes. Every card has a home, though. True Fire Captain, Street Riot, Sun Home Star, and another Mission Briefing. Okay. Relatively good box. All right. And as, as promised, here we are at the end. So, let's go through our rares. Mission Briefing, Bounty of Might, Ionize, Narcomoeba, Foil, Guild Mages Forum, Response Resurgence, Quasi Duplicate, Blood Operative, Assure, uh, Assemble, Find, Finality, Chamber Sentry, Legion War Boss, Bounty Agent, Dream Eater, Tajik, Legion's Edge, Monomic Betrayal, I don't know how to say that, Amara, Soul of the Accord, Beast Whisperer, Drowned Secrets, Light of the Legion, Nimbus of Perun, another Guild Mages Forum, Gross, Night of Autumn, Steam Vents, yay. Water Grave, yay. Foil Vivid Revival, yay. This is not a rare. Boo. Thief of Sanity, Deafening Clarion, Citywide Bust. Another Mission Briefing. I'm super okay with that being a double. Temple Garden, which is shock number three. Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice, Unmoored Ego. Oh, we did get four shocks. Heck yeah. Sacred Foundry, okay. Experimental Frenzy, Dawn of Hope, Nullhide Ferrix, very good. And a Omnispell Addup. And we still didn't get a Planeswalker, so that's two boxes. That's two boxes worth of rares. No Planeswalker yet. So uh, do with that information what you will. And uh, I am going to start and stop the stream again so we can get into box number three. Be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to follow us at twitch.tv slash cardshoptalk.